What's going on? Rich Demiro here, Rich on Tech. Did you know that your Android smartphone can not only send you early warning alerts about earthquakes, and I'm talking without an app installed, but it can also be used as a sensor to detect earthquakes and send that data to Google to help figure out what's going on with earthquakes in general. Let me show you what's going on. Here we go. So this map is the first of its kind. This is the first time that Android phones across Southern California were used as little tiny sensors to detect the shaking of that earthquake that happened on September 18th, Friday night. I was asleep, I mean, I think it was like 11.38 or something at night. It was that one that was centered near El Monte. Well, we felt the shaking, but this was the first time Google's little system was in use. So we got this map and you can see the shaking radiate out from the epicenter of the, uh, the quake. Now, here's the thing. What Google thought is, hey, you know what? We've got all these smartphones out there. They all have accelerometers in them. Why not turn them into tiny earthquake detectors like the seismometers they have all over Southern or all over California and the West? And that's exactly what they did with your phone. So let me show you some of these features so you can see where to find them on your phone, turn them on, turn them off, and just have control over them. Now I'm doing this on a uh, Google phone, so it may look slightly different on your phone, but uh, pretty much the places where you'll find this stuff is the same. So first off, you wanna swipe and go into your settings. So if you go into your settings, the first thing we're gonna look at is the location category. So if we go location, and you might have to tap advanced, you might not, but you'll see this new little um, area here that says earthquake alerts. So there it is, you can tap into here and kind of control these alerts. So these earthquake alerts, you might have an app on your phone like Quake Alert or something like that to give you earthquake alerts. Well, Google said, you know what? We're just gonna send these alerts to people's phones that are in California, no matter what. And you can turn that on or off here. So I would leave it on because why not? And it's gonna tell you when an earthquake is detected nearby. These are not perfect. So it's not always gonna work. You can't rely on these things, but um, when it does, you'll get an alert, hopefully before the shaking starts. And uh, it uses your approximate location to send information and earthquakes are currently detected by shake alert. Now, do you wanna see a demo of this? See exactly how it's gonna sound on your phone? Okay, let's do that. And this could get a little scary. Here we go. Now again, this is just a demo, but this is what it's gonna sound like on your phone. So if you're sleeping, yeah, this is going to wake you up for sure. So it gives you the, uh, the estimated magnitude, how far away it is, drop, cover, and hold, which is very important for me. Uh, not being from Southern California, I did not know that you're supposed to climb under sort of a desk or something to stay safe. All right, so you've got the demo, and uh, now that's the demo. Now let's take a look at other things here. So. If you don't want this feature on your smartphone, you can deactivate it. Now, uh, it's not like Amber Alerts where they're in the government alerts. This is in a different section and it doesn't really have its own, like if you wanna contribute to this or not. So you have to kind of just go by what Google's saying. I think they're gonna, in the future, they'll build out a specific toggle that says, I wanna contribute my phone's accelerometer to this uh, sensor system or I do not. But right now you don't really have that very fine option. You only have a big option, which is listed under here. And the big option is under Google location accuracy. So if you don't want to contribute to the earthquake sensing, then you have to turn this feature off. And this is called Google location accuracy. And it's going to give you a bunch of scary things that says your location on your phone is not going to be as accurate. Yes, that's true, but this is, uh, kind of, it's not gonna affect, like you're still gonna be able to use maps and things on your phone. Google just uses kind of a special mix of things to make your accuracy even faster if it doesn't have direct access to say GPS. It will look at other networks like uh, mobile networks and things around you. Uh, but anyway, so if you want, if you don't want your phone to act as a mini seismometer, then you can turn this off and uh, it will not contribute to that little map that I showed you at the beginning. Now, how are they getting this onto Android phones? That's another thing that Google's doing a little bit differently these days. They've been updating what's called Google Play Services. And this is a framework on Google phones that goes pretty much across all Google phones. So no matter what manufacturer you have, you will still be able to get this feature without a very prominent software update like an Android 11, Android 10. Even older phones can handle this earthquake system. So let me show you where that is. Uh, let's go back into your apps. So you wanna go into your apps 
And oh, here we go. See all 104 apps. So now you can scroll and you want to see all of your apps and you're looking for something called Google Play Services. There it is. So if you don't have this earthquake stuff just yet, go into your apps, look for Google Play Services, tap there. And uh, now you're going to have to go down here and one more tap where it says app details. See, you know, app installed from Google Play. You tap there, it will bring up Google Play services inside the Google Play store. And if it says update right here, go ahead and press that update button and it should bring you to the latest Google Play services. If you tried searching for this in the uh, Google Play store, I, I don't think it comes up. So let's just try that. Google Play services. Um, let's see if it comes up. Yeah, it does not come up. All right, there you have it. Some information about Google's new earthquake reporting and alerting system. Let me know if you have any questions about it in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Rich Demiro, richontech.tv. If you enjoyed this, uh, share it with a friend. I'll see you next time.